guys this is Vijay and I hope you are doing well in this video lecture uh, we will discuss the classification of automobile first of all what is automobile automobile is a self-propelled vehicle generally driven by IC engine and it is used for transportation of passengers and goods on ground automobile means it is a self-propelled vehicle okay for example in case of a bicycle okay we require the manual efforts to uh, propel it so it is not uh, in the category of automobile the examples are car bus truck scooter etc now we will discuss the history of automobile invention of wheel is a major milestone in human history after fire as we know that the invention of wheel brought about new ways of doing things this made our work easier and inspired even more new ideas for invention. Captain Nicholas, a Frenchman, is considered to be the father of the automobile. He built the first self-propelled road vehicle in uh, 1769. It was uh, fitted with a steam engine. In 1885, Benz Motors in Germany developed first vehicle propelled with IC engine. Whenever we discuss in previous slide, uh, this is the first three-wheeled coach it is operated by steam engine and uh, uh, Benz Motors in Germany developed first uh, vehicle propelled with IC engine internal combustion engine so this is the first world first so this is the world first three wheeled automobile with petrol engine or we can say gasoline engine was built by Karl Benz of Germany in 1885 and was granted patent on uh, 29th January 1886 at the same time Another team from Germany built the pattern of the first motorcycle. So this is the all over history of the automobile. Now we will classify the automobile according to the purpose. According to the purpose, uh, we can classify the automobile uh, passenger carriers. Uh, we can consider the examples of uh, bus and cars. Okay, these vehicles are used to carry the passenger from one place to another place the next category in the purpose uh, we can say good carriers uh, the example we can consider the trucks so we can use the trucks to carry the goods from one place to another place the next one is according to the fuel used so according to the fuel used uh, in automobile uh, we can classify uh, the automobile according to the fuel uh, petrol uh, if it is operated by solar then it is called solar vehicle if it is operated by diesel fuel okay then it is called diesel engine means uh, diesel engine is used to propel the vehicle uh, we can say hybrid hybrid means it is the combination of power okay for example in some of the car okay uh, back side uh, uh, here you can see that uh, hybrid is mentioned the meaning of the hybrid means it is the combination of power Generally, uh, electric and uh, gasoline power is used to propel the vehicle. It is called hybrid. Okay, in some of the car like as uh, Nissan Altima, okay, Honda Civic, uh, Mahindra Scorpio. On back side here you can see that hybrid. Okay, in hybrid we can also ca classify uh, semi-hybrid, fully hybrid, micro-hybrid. Okay, we will discuss later on. Then after electric vehicle, uh, for example, your bike, okay, uh, gas, uh, gas operated vehicle then after steam uh, nowadays uh, we are not using steam engine to propel the vehicle the next classification of the automobile uh, hmv and lmb hmv means uh, heavy transport vehicle or we can say heavy motor vehicles uh, in this category uh, we can consider the example of trucks tractors and buses in lmb category uh, the full form of the LMB is a light transport vehicle or light motor vehicles. The examples we are consider the cars and jeeps. The next classification of the automobile with respect to the motion. Okay, with respect to the motion, we can classify the uh, automobile reciprocating uh, piston engines. Here the reciprocating uh, motion of the piston it is converted into rotary motion and this rotary motion is utilized to propel the vehicle. In another category uh, rotary Wankel engines uh, in some of the vehicle uh, we are using to propel the vehicle generally uh, it is costly and uh, it is used in uh, some of the racing cars. 
now we can also classify the automobile according to the uh, types of drive uh, means left hand side uh, drive and right hand side drive so whether the vehicle can be driven sitting toward right or left hand side then it is called left hand drive for example uh, 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 we can see uh, in american vehicles and the right hand side uh, drive it is used in indian vehicle the next classification of the automobile whether the front axle rear axle or both axle are driving axles okay first of all what is driving axle driving axle means if uh, this axle is uh, connected with the engine means uh, this axle will receive the power from the engine directly okay then it is called drive axle then uh, other axle if it is not received the power from the engine then it is called dead axle for example in uh, front wheel drive okay so in front wheel drive here you can see that the engine is directly mounted uh, front side and uh, front axle it will receive the power from the engine then it is called front wheel drive okay so here you can see that in front wheel drive the power of the engine is directly uh, transferred to the front axle okay this torque is directly transferred to the front axle it is called front wheel drive the examples are uh, we can consider maruti suzuki alto hyundai varna honda city these are the example of front wheel drive then after rear wheel drive so in rear wheel drive uh, the engine is mounted uh, front side or uh, we can say it is also mounted on rear side uh, if it is mounted front side then after uh, if engine is mounted front side at that time we are using uh, propeller shaft to transmit the power from the front engine to the rear axle by using propeller shaft or we can say drive shaft okay here you can see that this is a drive shaft it is used to transfer the power which is produced uh, by the engine and uh, it is transferred to the uh, rear axle by using propeller shaft Oh, and this is called differential and the function of the differential is to distribute the equal torque to both the wheels okay it will maintain the speed okay this is the function of differential so here you can see that in front wheel drive the power is directly uh, transmitted to the front axle but in case of a rear wheel drive the engine is mounted front side or rear side and it will transmit the power to the rear axle it is called rear wheel drive for example uh, we can consider the example of toyota innova this is a rear wheel drive or and uh, all uh, types of trucks okay they are, all are rear wheel drive four wheel drive okay so in four wheel drive uh, we can consider the example of jeep so in four wheel drive uh, uh, we can transfer the power to both the axle front axle and rear axle but in case of a four wheel drive we are having one option okay to convert uh, convert it into two wheel drive so here we are using uh, transfer case and the function of the transfer case is to convert the uh, four wheel drive into uh, two wheel drive okay so we are having one option to convert the four wheel drive into two wheel drive this is the basic difference between the four wheel drive and all wheel drive so in all wheel drive here we are using central differential okay and the function of the central differential is to uh, equally distribute the torque to all the wheels so in all wheel drive every time uh, all will receive the power all wheels receive the power okay this is the basic difference between the four wheel drive and all wheel drive so in four wheel drive we are having one option uh, we can convert it into two wheel drive whenever it is not required uh, for example on highway okay so at that time uh, uh, if we want to convert into two wheel drive so we are having one option so in all wheel drive uh, we can consider the example of mahindra xuv 500 okay uh, so it is the example of all wheel drive or in uh, some of the luxurious car like as bmw and od model okay so all wheel drive option is there uh, we have already discussed what is the difference between front wheel drive and rear wheel drive so in front wheel drive the power is transmitted to the front axle while as in rear wheel drive the engine is mounted the front side and uh, it will transmit the power to the rear axle by using propeller shaft so here you can see that this propeller shaft is connected with the universal joint with uh, differential and uh, the function of the differential is to uh, maintain the speed of the 
uh, both the wheels because whenever we are taking the turn so at that time inner radius and outer radius speed is different so this is the function of uh, this differential to maintain the speed of both the wheels and uh, it will transmit the power at 90 degree okay because here you can see that the engine is mounted front side and uh, our objective is to transmit the power to the rear axle so the, we are using differential we can easily identify the rear wheel drive so in any of the car okay at bottom side if we can see this type of shaft drive shaft so we can easily identify this is a rear wheel drive okay then what is four wheel drive okay we have already discussed in our previous slide four wheel drive means here we are using transfer case okay so we are having one option uh, to convert the four wheel drive into rear wheel drive next one is all wheel drive okay we have already discussed in all wheel drive okay, here we are using central differential okay and the function of the central differential is to uh, distribute the equal torque to the all wheels now we can also classify the automobile as per the construction single unit and articulated articulated means having two or more section connected by flexible joints for example tractors so in tractors uh, here you can see that there are two different uh, section and it is connected with some flexible joint trolley and engine according to the number of wheels we can classify the automobile two wheeler three wheeler and four wheeler we can also classify the automobiles according to the body types the first one is a hatchback the meaning of hatchback is it can be well known with the help of its peculiar features like as a hatch type rear door that opens upward smaller size uh, it is smaller in size okay generally uh, five doors are there including the rear hatch and less number of pillars okay so this is the identification of hatchback it is a compact in size which enables to drive with easiness in traffic or we can say absence of difficulty in traffic like condition and uh, squeeze into tight parking slots it offers a uh, good fuel efficiency and uh, low maintenance cost but it does not compromise on cabin space and boot space so here you can see that uh, very uh, less space uh, boot space or we can say trunk area as compared to sedan in uh, category of the hatchback we can consider the example of hyundai i20 tata indica okay so these are the example of hatchback the next one is sedan sedan are uh, more aerodynamic and uh, very close to the ground uh, which helps in better handling when compared to the hatchback it is a spacious means uh, has a good boot space okay here you can see that the trunk area is uh, more as compared to the hatchback so in uh, sedan uh, we can carry more goods as compared to the hatchback also comes with a powerful engine so this is the feature of sedan the next one is suv okay the full form of the suv is a sports utility vehicle so suv have a better ground clearance okay and uh, it is also comes with uh, equipped with 4x4 technology that helps to tackle bad and rough roads okay 4x4 means four wheel four drive and uh, full size suv can accommodate up to seven passengers as compared to compact suvs okay so the feature of the suv is uh, either it is a four wheel drive or all wheel drive okay so uh, we have already discussed what is the difference between four wheel drive and all wheel drive the next one is muv or we can say mpv muv means multi utility vehicle or mpv means multi purpose vehicle different mpvs can uh, different multi purpose vehicle can accommodate from 5 to 9 passengers depending on their size and seating configuration it comes with uh, all creature comfort features and a good spacious cabin so it gets too difficulty to find good parking space and navigate in heavy traffic especially in the city okay so this is the drawbacks of muv the next classification in the body type is convertible a convertible is a passenger car with or without roof 
A convertible features allows an open air driving experience. Okay, with the ability to provide a roof when required. Uh, potential uh, drawbacks of uh, convertible are uh, reduced uh, structural rigidity. Okay, so the majority of the convertible roofs are uh, folding construction made from clothes. Other types of convertible roofs uh, include uh, retractable uh, hard tops or uh, often constructed from metal or plastic and uh, detachable hard tops uh, where a metal or plastic roof is manually removed and often stored in the trunk space. The next classification uh, of the automobile according to the body type is a station wagon. The American Heritage uh, Dictionary defines a station wagon as an automobile with one or more rows of the folding or removable seats behind the driver and uh, no luggage compartment but an area behind the seats into which uh, suitcase, uh, parcels, etc. can be loaded through a tailgate. And, uh, or we can say an automobile that has a passenger compartment which extended to the back of the vehicle that has no trunk, uh, that has a one or more rear seats uh, which can be folded down to make space for more light cargo. And uh, that has a tailgate or lift gate. The example we can consider uh, Volkswagen Golf sports wagon it is considered as the uh, example of station wagon. The next one is special purpose vehicle. So in special purpose vehicle uh, we can consider those vehicle okay with uh, its special application for example uh, the application of the automobile in uh, fire brigade safety okay the application of the automobile in defense in harvesters. Uh, these all are the automobiles it is considered in special purpose vehicles thank you friends for watching this video i hope this content it will be helpful to you